guys, so today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to make this starburst ring. And it fits on your finger like this. It's really cute and adorable. So, what you'll need is you're going to need your loom. I'm using my rainbow loom today. You'll need a hook. And you'll need some bands. So for this one, as like I said, I did a white rim with rainbow in the center. See here, dude? Yeah. And with this one, you could also you can also go on my other tutorial, and you can find out how to make this starburst bracelet. But today is the ring only. Put that there. Do you see the ring? This is the ring. So today. Um, I'm going to be using some, I'm going to do, for the rim today, I'm going to do some, some, what am I doing today for the, for the rim? This is such a hard decision, oh my gosh, um, sorry, I'm going to do Red. I'm going to be using red today for the rim. And for the inside, for the burst part, I will be using oops, um, um, tur um, turquoise. So, yeah. So that will be my Starburst bracelet today. So I hope you enjoy. So first what you're going to do is you're going to take your first row band and you're going to place it from this peg to this peg. And the air is point, pointing towards you and away from you. So you're going to go like that. Press down. Push down. And then you're going to go from here to here. And then here to here. Like that. So now we are going to go from this peg to this peg. Oops. So like that. Then you go from here to here. here just like this this is what it should look like when you're done placing your bands like this now what we're going to do is we're going to be placing the middle this burst part so first we're going to take our color and today my color I decided was going to be torque I can't say it right. Turk, 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 turquoise. Sorry, I can't. And so I'm gonna do from this peg to this peg. Start here and like that. And press down. Then you're gonna go from this peg to this peg. And press down. Then from this peg to this peg. And this peg, this peg. And then from this peg to this peg. And from this peg to this peg. So that is our formation. And then you're going to take a burr band, the same color as the sifter. Or you can do red. See on this one, I did white as my background. But as you can see on these, I did the color of the starburst. 
so it just depends on what you want to look like. Like, if you want the servers to be all one color. Bye! Okay! And you're gonna take the color of this, or, yeah. So it really just depends on what you want. So today, my bracelet, my ring actually, we're doing a ring. I'm gonna do the color of the, the um, of the, the middle, of the inside. So you're gonna take your band, put it in your hook. And you go loop once. So there are two things. And you're gonna place it right here in the center. Like so. Now, next, uh, sorry. Next, what we are going to do is we are going to, since we're going to be turn, turning the loom around, so the arrow is pointing towards you, you're going to be placing a cat band right here. Because when you're doing this, it just talks. So for this one, you're going to want the rim color because this is the cat band. And uh, you don't want the inside. So I would do the red for me. So take a rug band. I'd loop it like I did before. Just like that. And then I place it right, right there. Just like that. So now you've finished placing your bands. Next, you're gonna start hooking your bands. So first, when you start hooking, you're gonna take, go, um, pull back the two, pull back the cat band, right there, and then you're gonna grab that turquoise band, and you're gonna pull it forward to this middle band right here. And you're gonna pull it. And then if you want to, you can press down the cat band if it's in your way, like that. Now, you're going to go inside, pull back the cat band, and you're going to grab, whoops, sorry, you grab the first band, which is going to be this one right here. So you're going to pull it out of your peg, and it's going to put right here. This is where it should be. The first um, band on top should be this peg. Next, you're going to go to this one. So you said pull back the cat band. Grab that top band and it should be this one. And if it's not, put it back through and redo it. Next, you're going to go again. And you're going to grab the top band every time. And yeah, that's the right band. So look at that. That. Once it gets out of here, it should be fairly easy to see. Place it, pull back the cat band, take that last one, and place it right there. That. This is what it will look like. Now we're going to start to do the hooking. You're going to go inside the cat band. So what you're going to do is you're going to go inside the cat band and you're going to grab the top band, which is this one right here, this red one. And you're going to pull it up and it's going to land right there. So I pulled the so you pull back the cat band and you get this band, you loop it, and then you're gonna go. Oops, sorry. You're gonna go in under all of them, grab that red one, and you're gonna. Oops, sorry. Try that again. You go under all of them, grab that red one, and you're gonna pull it up over like that. And then I do that. You grab that red one right there. 
like that. So now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. You're going to go straight there, pull back that cat band, and take, without popping it, do it like that. So you go under all those bands and grab the bottom one. Then you're going to go grab the bottom band on this one, as well, and loop it. And push down, if you have to, push down these bands. So you can get it on secure. Like that. So now you're finished hooking your bands. And if yours does not look like this, go back to the video and watch to see where you've messed up. Or you've got your wrong. And redo it. So now, what you're gonna do. Take your hook, and you're going to go right down through the middle, right down through the middle. and you're going to grab a red band of your red color. I grabbed red. That's my red color. And you're going to pull it through. So you're going to pull it through the center, just like that. So yeah, it's pulled through, through the top. And now you can pull off your door creation. So this is what mine looks like. You, need, you might need to stretch it out a little bit. To get the right shape. Now you're going to need to make the ring. Once the ring is made, you might want to stretch it out some more. You don't need to learn. What you want to do is take your band and you're going to place it on your hook and you're going to push these bands. Hold it like that and just loop the bands loop them so it's like that. And you're gonna do that as many times as you need to get your bracelet. Your ring actually. And for this one. I like this one because it's not, doesn't take as many, oops, sorry. It doesn't take as, and you can also, it doesn't take as many things as the, and so now you looped it, and you're going to loop it right back there. Now you're creating your single train. Do as many times as you need to fit, so it fits your ring, so it fits your finger, whichever finger you want your ring to be on. So mine's getting longer, and my last time I had to do, how many did I have? And you can also do it by hand without the hook, like this. And then just, I like to do my hook though, so I'm just to get back on my hook. This is what it looks like so far. So for me, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need seven bands. So I need one more band to complete this ring for my finger. You might need more bands for yours if your finger is bigger. You might need less if your finger is smaller. It just depends. 